Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here to do your bonus read for Friday the 2nd of November. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I love having you here with me, I love doing the readings, I can't um, even shuffle. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, very nice, Eight of Wands just dashed out here as it were. Um, they're a little harder to, they're a little stiff and a little harder to give a good shuffle to, but I'll get there. A bit big for my hands. Beautiful. So, bonus read. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. You know what to do if the readings don't resonate. All good. I want to get straight into this one because I feel like there's something coming here you need to hear because I've just had the eight of wands jumped out of me. So, cards I'm using are the Golden Tarot by Cat Black. Oh, okay. So we have the five of coins on the front here. It was upside down, so I will give you the upside down energy. The five of coins talks about... Um, being at a time where you feel that you've been left out in the cold. Now, keeping in mind the energies go backwards and forwards here, so it could be that you've left someone else out in the cold. What I will say to you is this card came in reversed, and I would have got the energy anyway, but I will read the reversal and say to you, you're coming out of this now. So whatever it was that you were, um, did something just fallen down in my bathroom? <laughs> um, but I'll see to that in a moment. Um, you're coming out of a period of feeling out in the cold. And I like this. It's a good way to see this card in reverse. Because what it says to me is you may have been feeling quite lonely, quite spiritually low, but it's coming to an end. I knew somebody needed to hear this reading, so. Okay, first card out, the lovers. We might have a love reading this morning. So the lovers talks of, I mean, it used to be the card of a choice and it used to be the card of having a choice between two people. But in its entirety, um, we now see it as being the card of two people who are meant to be together, soulmates, lovers, whatever. Um, and it's a little hard to tell, but being you've got the five of pentacles up front, You've either left someone else in the cold or you're feeling out in the cold from something that's happened in a relationship. Okay, then we have the King of Cups, radio. So this Pisces Scorpio Cancer here. So I feel like maybe you've had some sort of relationship with someone that takes on the attributes of a water sign or could in fact be a water sign male or female. But I feel like either they've left you out in the cold or you've left them out in the cold. Because you've had to move away for whatever reason. I'm not quite sure at this time. But um, this is definitely a relationship reading. Okay, then we have temperance. So maybe you had to leave this person behind because there was no balance in the relationship. Because the temperance card calls for balance. Um, it's about like equal give and take. And we always talk about her because she has one foot in the water, one foot on the land. She's carefully balancing two cups actually see an angel in her background here so um, almost looks like she's thinking about someone so keep that in mind you might be thinking about this person that you've left out in the cold you may have had to do it you may have had no choice but to cut them out because they weren't reciprocating in a relationship in some way shape or form now again keep in mind that it may not it feels like romance, it feels like a romantic relationship, it definitely feels like a love relationship, but it can still relate to something else. So please relate it to another relationship if you need to. But definitely this feeling of leaving someone out in the cold because they weren't they weren't balanced. They weren't you weren't balanced in the relationship. Um and there's a lot of emotion in these cards too. There's also people everywhere talking to these people. So I feel like you're getting spiritual guidance here. The reason I say that is because in the lovers you have this enlightened person or this angel above. And in this card with the temperance you also have someone in the top giving advice as well. So it's almost to me like you've been guided to do this. You've been receiving messages I would say. Okay, and then we have the Tower Radio. Okay, quick recap before we move on. 
some of you have had to cut somebody out of your life. They could be a water sign, but they could just be very, a very emotionally deep person. They could have water in their chart, a lot of water. This is general reading, could actually be you. But you've had to leave someone behind. You've had to call this relationship, whatever it is, aside and say it's just not working. Um, there's an, a huge amount of guidance here from above. So I feel like you've done something that's being divinely guided. The thing is, whatever it is, has either and quite possibly hit both of you in terms of transformation because we have the tower here. So I feel like maybe you are meant to be together. But the, the universe, there it goes again. The universe has, um, has pulled you both apart to give you some teaching here. I don't know what's falling down in my bathroom. Somebody's trying to get my attention by the sounds of that. Um, you've had to have been sort of pulled apart because you both had healing to do. Because the tower talks about breaking down old structures and moving towards, you know, rebuilding something that wasn't good before. So I feel like there's some sort of divine relationship here. And it looks like Spirit has actually taken you apart for some reason to do some healing because the relationship wasn't ready. Maybe you both weren't in the right place. Okay, and then I have the Ten of Wands. So it's causing you a great deal of stress or, or you're carrying around a lot of stuff that you don't need to. Now, the thing is with the Wands, they do, do talk about passion and emotion. Not emotion like in love cups, but passion as in drive, um, you're exhausted here. So you've probably been thinking about this a lot more than you should have been. It's been a real burden for you. But I'm not sure the burden was before in the relationship or whether the burden is now. But you're definitely carrying that around. Definitely divinely guided. I have the star here. There's definitely divine guidance here. This is a relationship that is supposed to come together. But for some unknown reason, you've you've been pulled apart to take time apart because you both weren't ready for the relationship. Um, I don't know. Somebody said to me the other day about time apart. I'm like, I don't know how long the universe wants you to be to get apart from each other. If you do the healing you need to do, you can't be sure the other person's going to go through their healing as well. So it's a matter of both of you being in the right place to come back together again. And I mean, I've met people who've been apart for 20 years and come back with their soulmates. So, and 30 years one. So then we have the Queen of Swords out here. Now, I really think here, the Queen of Swords can be a Libra, Aquarius or Gemini, but it really feels like an energy here. Um, she's extremely masculine in this card too. So maybe you're being asked to sort of think more logically think more strategically here um, because maybe you want to move forward and say something or, or apologize to this person but I think this card is sort of saying that you need to just wait it's not ready it's not time the reason I say that too is you've got a butterfly in this card so I feel like it's waiting for some sort of transformation to occur you've got it on the tower too so Okay, then we have the world. Okay, now the world come out in the day reading as well, in the what's cracking reading. This is the ending a cycle here. So, okay, I feel like you've been poor. I think you've either met someone or been with someone that you're meant to be with. But for some unknown reason, they've brought you together in order to take you apart for you both to learn. I think you're meant to be with this person, whoever it is. But you're not ready and nor are they. But the only way the universe could get you to heal was to bring you together in union and then tear you asunder, as it were. Because there's a huge amount of healing needing doing here. I think this is really hard for you or even the other person because you know that the guidance here is here, the stars here. It's what you hoped and dreamed of and now it's gone from underneath you. But see, the thing is the Queen of Swords is here and it, it feels like you want to apologise but the time just isn't right because she's pointing towards the tower which says to me there's still work to be done. The thing is the world's coming which says there's a cycle that needs to be ended here before you can move forward. Here we are. So you need to handle it more like a Queen of Cups rather than a Queen of Swords. So let me just talk that through. So the Queen of Swords is a person that looks at things logically. 
She looks at things more strategically. It can be a little bit more ego driven, being it's a sword. What the universe is saying is it's not time to talk about it yet. You have to feel it out in the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups have both come out in this reading here. Um, which says to me this is definitely a soulmate relationship without any doubt and possibly twin flame. What the universe is saying is you can't, it's not time to come forward and speak yet because what you need to be doing is not handling it with logic. That's the way you've done it in the past. You can't be logical or strategic. You need to go back and listen to your intuition and do this from a place of feeling. So it's not time to move forward because that is the healing you're doing here. Maybe you've always handled things in a very logical succession, six, successive way. And this time you need to handle this very differently. But the timing isn't right here. There's still growth and healing to be done over here. And you haven't put down these burdens yet. Once you put these burdens down, you'll be fine to move forward because you're finishing out some sort of cycle here. Um, oh, we got the devil. Okay, all right then. So for some of you, this is about curing your codependence. Okay, recap. I don't know how much time we've got left. I may not have time for an oracle, but I need to get these messages through. I feel like you've been brought into this relationship because maybe you've been cycling relationships in the past. I feel like you've been dealing with people who weren't worthy of you. They weren't balanced relationships. You've been dealing with emotionally cold people. They weren't the sort of people that you should have been with. You deserve so much more. Now, the universe has seen this and the universe has said, OK, we want you to be with this particular person, but you both need to heal before you're together. But the only way we can get you to heal is by putting you together so you understand your journey. And that would be subconsciously. You don't see that happening. So what's happened then is you've sort of been pulled apart with this tower. Now, in order to move forward, you still are carrying around the sadness of the past here. You haven't let the negativity and sadness go. And you cannot move forward on this until you've done the work you need to do. So you may have been quite negative in the past. It may have been you had a very codependent nature. I'm not sure. One of you has some sort of addictive sort of personality. You could both have that. But spirit is saying that you need to do your healing separately because you need to be together. This is divinely guided. Now, for the person listening, I would say to you, you need to take on less of the energy of the Queen of Swords and more of the energy of the Queen of Cups. You need to handle this with intuition. You need to feel it out in your gut. If you keep going in and, and trying to straighten this out with your tongue, it just ain't going to work because you're just not ready. So somehow or another, you've got to go back. You've got to learn to love yourself. You've got to forgive. You've got to put down these burdens of the past in order to move forward because a cycle needs to close out here. It's very evident to me. With the devil up the front here, I would say one or the other of you or even both of you have some sort of addictive behavior. It needs to be put down. Now, it could be that some of you have been a bit with a bit of with a player. Um, it could be that you're too needy. It could be any one of those addictive behaviors. It could be things you've taught from childhood. It could be lack of self-confidence, too much ego with the devil. Maybe one of you is not very confident and the other one's too egotistical. But it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you can't come back together until you've both healed and the timing is not right. It takes time. Phew! Can I say, whoever this is for, you're meant to be with this person. So please do the work on yourself. Heavy reading. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.